Hey, good morning. Good morning, everybody. This is the professor with Day Training for Success. Oh, sorry, I'm just jumping in here. Nature called, and I'm back, and I have a pretty large group of people here. So today we're going to be trading um, NVIDIA. We're going to be trading 1,000 shares, so we're expecting some serious action here. Uh, I've just finished laying this out with the group, and we'll be starting uh, right around um, – a half hour after market opens here in just a few minutes. Please read this disclaimer. This is an entertainment channel, so please don't try to follow any of the trading styles that we show here um, <clears throat> and try to trade in a sim and, and seek the advice of a licensed financial professional, not try to emulate something that you see here. So please read that. So guys, um, this is the perfect one minute layout. We will be trading the RV strategy. Uh, if you're interested in the, that book or any of the books that I filed, there'll be a link to them to show more. This is called Day Trading Volume One. So this layout has got the new scalping indicator down here, um, if you're interested in that. And that's for free, it says DTS, so that's on episode, well, that's, that'll be on uh, uh, the last episode I made this available. I'm not sure what number we're at here now, but uh, the very last video, this is available, This the current, uh, script that it is now. And then uh, I, I am trading the uh, power hour layout. I kind of I kind of stuck with it. I liked it because of the way things are moving. Like I open up the SPY here and you can see I have my SPY marked out for longer term trades. And as you can see what's been happening now that um, it's just out of control. So today it just started going down. The last couple of days it just started going down uh, overall. And the videos crashing a bit too so this will be kind of interesting to trade today a little excited it's always exciting but normally we're long biased and i'm not sure we're going to be that way today so we'll see so what is the rv strategy it's a range bound strategy we look at the close from yesterday which was under my picture uh 726 dollars and 13 cents and then we look at the atr down here so if you watch that number you'll see that's 21 dollars and 76 cents so we had 10 dollars and 70 cents we had to roughly subtract from the close to get the ATR low and then add the other half to the high. As you can see, we're dropped way out of that. That's our range, and we're already way out of range, so something odd is happening. You can see they're all in the range the last few days, and now we are kind of like uh, heading down to look at these for pivot points from the previous days. So, and that's what we do. Once we create a range, then we try to create channels off of pivot points. So if you open up the four hour, you will see that, um, you know, I, start, I marked them all that I could within the range, but then I started marking them as we were dropping out, as we were watching the price action. Outside, every candle wick and body in a four hour to look for pivot points for the stock. Why would we do that? That's where the stock is sold, stopped, turned around, been bought in large number or sold in large numbers. Um, remember, four-hour candlesticks going to be all your different time levels kind of combined for that mean four-hour to give us a, a spot that you're going to want to watch, which is why I kind of stair-step them along and mark them all. And then that's what that spaghetti mess is uh, on the one-minute chart here. But when you when you see how I get into trading that, that's not a big deal because I'll have it widen it up and you can see. So I also have the volume profile set in here. There's a video that shows you how to do that. So make sure you watch that, although we're dropped below everything today. So you've got the scalpers indicator, the volume profile, the one minute layout here. I've actually pulled up the level two. Um, we were trying to reconcile things and the fact that it's you, it, we're always going to get filled and the level two is not going to tell us what this stock's not going to stop because of something we see on the level two one way or the other so i did that the other day and it worked out great so i'm i'm doing it again today i'm just not even going to have it here i'm going to rely on candlestick patterns support and resistances for the rv strategy and uh, it worked great a bunch of other people did it and it worked great for them so we are level two readers but on a large cap you know you're going to get full filled and it's not going to stop the action that's what we've learned so it's more for momentum trading stocks smaller caps mid caps you know maybe but small caps micro caps you'd want the level two so that's you know that well that's i'm not even going to drag it down that's what it's there i already made a bad trade this morning so i'm hoping to come back from that it happened very fast before i knew what happened um but that's what's going to happen with this stock because it moves very quickly. So the other things that I mark besides that, and we'll be starting in just a few minutes, is the two-day Fibonacci. It's already broken where it was, but I, I marked a low here. So it's always left to right. So I went high to low over a two-day period, 
and we're outside of those lines already. And then I did a 10 day period over here. Um, low to high here, left to right. And it looks like some of these might come into play as we come down over here. So you can see it like almost banked off this four hour down here. So these pivot lines, some of them are gonna be really well respected and some of them are gonna be not at all. As you can see, this was well respected. This one right here, along with the FIB, got very well respected. The stock turned around. This one, it tapped it, went right back up. Then here, kind of not so much except right down there. So some are going to be okay, some are not. And you just got to figure out which ones you want to use to, for support or resistance when you're trading. Um, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to figure that out as we trade. And, we're gonna, and I'm going to be calling the patterns as well. So, you know, like if you were going down here, you looked at this. This is not even a, this isn't, I was going to say it's not even a tweezer move. And this is a spinning top here that might tell you it's going to turn around, but it didn't turn around. So now we're looking right here. We've got a hanging man, right? And um, is everybody ready up there if we want to start a little early? Uh, yeah. So um, I'm going to be looking here. So you see what um, action I'll be trading is right here. So um, this is telling you it's going to turn around. Look at the price action come in right here. Now that pull is going to pull it up. So um, that's the volume. Pro well, and that just the point of control just jumped up, didn't it? Where'd it go? Yeah, it looks like it just jumped up. I don't even see it. Where'd the point of control go? Is it way up there? Oh, it's way up there. So what just jumped up there? I guess just some of those lines. There's the point of control way up there. So yeah, it just drops so fast. Oh, here it is here too, though. That is weird. Yeah, okay, so that's weird. Yeah, it just it keeps popping around here. So look at it go up. My God. So everybody's ready, guys. I'm going to look to see if it's going to turn around up here at this level again and go for a short. So that's what I'm looking for. Seems to be fading off right there. I'm going to take it right there. I shorted right there, guys. I'm in a minute and a half early. So we usually start a half hour after market opens, and I've already got a bad trade. So I was hoping it was going to bank off that FIB. I watched this number here. Um, so I have a $2,000 max loss per trade in view of the action that we're going to get here. Wow, this is not uh, three. This has got some sensitive action on the wicks. So it's dropping off here. Let me get this. Yep, that was the strength showing it's going to go down. Some really weird wicks a action here. Those are not real. Those are like shadow wicks you don't want to. Wow, okay, so this is a great trade. So that's 692.16. That's what we have to look at, not that candle. Yeah, this is just so much volume that it can't keep up. So I'm going to get, I'm going to reverse off that. Yeah, I'm going to take that right there and reverse, and I bank that money. So I'm at 691.30. So it, this is hard to play these lines here, but you know I think I got it like right out, right near this, just you know a little bit below this uh, four hour 691.30. So I got it like right. Oh no, I got it like right here. Yeah, I got it right where it is. Okay, no, that's right where it is. These are just big channels, guys. That's a that's a two dollar and thirty cent channel. So, um, wow. So if we play this right, this looks like this is going to be a good day. It's going to go well, I think. I'm going to reverse off that, guys. I'm reversing off that. 
I'm reversing off this four hour here. I'm gonna get ready to turn around if I got it wrong. This is the point of control. So it's moving right here. This is where the grinding is. So we might be playing this channel. So we're going to watch this real tight. Check this is, this is, uh, yep, yeah, walking here. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, get ready to reverse on that four hour again. So that's 90, oh, it's already broke it, 88. We're down to 88, oh my God. That's uh, that's going fast. So this is 87 will be the next one that I'll be looking to reverse at, 87. Holy mackerel, that's a $5,000 trade. Wow, almost a five, that's almost my entire day in one trade, there it is. He said, I'm gonna take that guys. I don't I just want to bank it more than anything. So just get ready to go right back out again. So I got it at 87.62. <laughs> wow. That's, that's insane. This is insane. So, um, so I banked off this. It actually went a little bit lower. Picked me up somewhere right in here. 60, no, right, like right at the, just below the line. Here's another two thousand dollar trade. We have this is too high a share size. I mean, this is crazy. We could get really burned here. Yeah, we should have made it five hundred. This is uh, this is going to be insane today. So um, I think I'm going to count my blessings and get out pretty early the way this is going. So um, so that's eighty nine. Guys, I just this somebody up there is red, and that is a big red. Something happened. You got time. This, these swings are incredible. I started with five hundred dollars down, so I already broke ten k. So I'm looking for it to bounce up here. So I'm looking for six ninety something. Um, I haven't seen it get up there yet. Jeez, like I might have missed it. I think I missed it. Wow. So I could have captured that. I could have got it and captured this going down on a short already. So I'm not going to be able to capture all these. They're just swinging so quickly. The volume's actually dropping here. Yeah, buyers are going up. If you look at the scalpers indicator now, now it's sellers again. Looking for it right there. That's 91. I'm going to take that reverse right there at the 90. You, I got to be careful not to watch the candlestick. So, uh, so I got it at 90, 99, 690, 99. I'm a whole dollar, almost a dollar off of my uh, position there for a split second. Looking for a dip. I don't know if it's going to go all the way back down or that's it. Okay, I'm going to hold it short, guys. I was trying to get a better position for the short, but it just, I, I, I was too worried about doing that. Oh, man, big dive, big dive. I'm going to grab it there. But I just mostly so I could bank it. Oh, it's still going. Okay, be careful. <laughs> wow. Well, I have a nice big cushion here. So um, I'm happy because I didn't expect it to be. This is pretty exciting, I guess, but this is insane too because it's very hard to control here. So here's our channel. You know, I, I can't call it definitive pattern. This would have been a, a a bull tweezer to send it up, but then you had a spinning top right in the middle here, which sort of would say maybe it's not going to go up. But this is still the bear tweezer going up, I feel. It's drawing it up to the point of control right here. So 
So we're looking for even dollar amounts as fast as they friggin' hit them. It already hit 92, or it's up right up at the point of control again. So I'm looking for it to hit this. I'm going to try to bank off this 93 up here if it gets that high. If not, I'll reverse in here before it dips down. At least I'll try to catch it here. Yeah, not having the level two is making me feel ill at ease, mostly just because I, I look at it, even if it's not making a difference. But I thought it was uh, distracting a bit, but because it wasn't it wasn't reconciling, you know, it won't reconcile. And so now, I mean, theoretically, this is reconciling, but man, this is still stair stepping up. Now it's going down now. There it goes back up. So I'm looking for it to get sort of near. Well, I want to see it break 92. There's 92. And then get get up toward 93. And then I'm going to reverse right off that four hour. If it gets up there, if it starts to fade, I'm going to reverse prior to that. Keeps toying with it up there right at the point of control. It was six. There's 92. There's 92. I'm going to take that. What did I get that at? 92.40, so that was a little soon. Okay, too bad. I thought it might bounce up as I hit it. Um, I'll reverse again if it gives me a big green here. It looks like it's going to keep going. Is it going to break that 93? I might be in the wrong position here if it breaks that 93 and shoots up to that fib. So I got to be careful here. Wow. So yeah, I'm ready for a big day. Got my cufflings on and everything. And I was not expecting this to, uh, to be quite this good. That's a good start for the week. We missed the first day of the week to the holiday. Now it just suddenly died here. I'm kind of glad I'm in a short position, even though I'm seven, eight hundred bucks down. Nope, 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 nope. I don't want to see that. Don't keep going up there. Very close to my position. Well, there you can see on the money. I'm looking at the pattern. I'm looking at this. I'm looking at the five minute. I'm looking at the 15 minute. I'm looking at the scalpers indicator to see. So I'm kind of just doing a across here like this trying to see what to do to take it all in wow so it's now got another great trade wow there it goes it's going to break through that getting ready to reverse there guys so i'm calling the ball for everybody but they're they're clearly okay good everybody's green that's good came back he came back so yeah we got a couple of them uh 15 16 there's an 18k looks like i'm in the lead for right now anyway This could be shaping up to be one of my bigger than, uh, or one of my possibly my best scalping days. This is, I just I'm already feeling a little overwhelmed and tired though. Believe it or not, these numbers are are high even for me. I don't this fast this high. <laughs> That's how long has it been? I haven't been ten minutes yet. <laughs> so it reminds me of the competitions we used to have where you you, know, you had to make like ten k in five minutes or something. Uh, Wow. Oh, my God. I'm going to take that guy. I just got to bank it. So I'm at the, what I get it at, 84. So, yeah, I went down too far. But I look at that and I go, all right, go down a couple thousand. I, I've got it in the bank right now. So um, <clears throat> playing off these pivots, they respected them before here. So I'm playing off these pivots, but it is a strong move down. So, yeah, okay, okay, that's not good. I almost at my max loss. So, um Oh, Jesus, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Okay, hang on, hang on. I'm not going to, uh, wow. Okay, I was looking up at you guys. Well, I'm kind of glad I missed it. I was going to say, I think I was just going to sell. I don't think I was going to reverse there. So it came back, though. Okay, well, if I'd sell and rebought again, I'd probably be in the same position. I would have lost that money, though. So, uh, ouch. 
Well, that was not my intent, but I'm glad I was so high up. I got, to, I think that was up at like 2,500. And then I looked, at, I didn't want to do a quick button press. You know, that's when you, when you uh, get caught off guard, you know, it's, you can't panic. You got to take an assessment and it looks like it's going to do it to me again. And this time I will sell. So if, if it's just dropping off here, I'm just going to sell and get out of this position. So, and then I'm going to wait a second because it's just, I, it'll keep me above 20 and I'm just going to take a breath here. Um, see if this position will swing back up. I mean, there's wild swings here at 2,500. That's a lot for one trade to lose. So I haven't lost it yet, but here we go. It looks like it's going to shake me out again. One little bounce down and I'm out. So I'm getting ready. I'm going to look away for a second and hope it doesn't. No, I won't look away because this is getting too close to 2000 again. Uh -oh. oh, look at that. Now I'm going to look away. Just looking at everybody else. So nobody passed me, which was good. I thought I might get passed right there for people that didn't call that uh, differently. No, this is just not, uh, this is not, go I'm going to sell right there and I'm going to think about this a second. So I sold for a profit. So uh, <laughs> it's not feeling it right here. Oh. All right, you guys are in position. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hang on for just a second here. I was not feeling that I had any control there about what I was gonna do next. So I'm gonna kind of sit back and take take in here. That's a great day already. I don't want to lose it because I'm just I'm not I wasn't feeling it there for a second, guys. Sometimes that happens, you just drop out of the zone and I just felt like I was in a position I had no idea why and what I should do. <laughs> so I just need to So I'm gonna look at this now. I mean, you know. This is a, a, a ladder bottom with actually a bullish tweezer, which, which in, you know, means that it should go up here if I wanted to get back in long again. Um, 15 minutes are just saying it's going down. So sometimes you can get lost on these little moves, and I don't want to do that. Um, Honestly, I'm long biased here on this particular. I'm looking for a dip to go even shorter, to go down even lower if it does. Yeah, I'm. Oh, I got that. It jumped up right when I hit it. I'm gonna play that long based on this, and uh, and see if I got that right. And so, yeah, that that's that's not good. No. If it breaks through that, then I I yeah, I had an overall feel. Oh man, really had an overall feeling that it was going to go up but it could it could have could drop a little more first before it does that so i should have waited a little longer okay another thousand down not as easy as it was a minute ago these are the kind of tight scalps that you will lose your butt and you suddenly you have 22 and suddenly you've got 15 before you know what happened and I don't want to I don't want to see that happen so <clears throat> I'm, I'm not inclined to his reverse as much as I, I there's slippage and I'm not feeling the move in here I don't have a lot to go on here guys we've got this channel which it does seem to be staying in, and then it pushes gets up to the point of control, control then drops off um, but overall it's feeling a lot like a crapshoot to me right now Feeling pretty lucky I got to where I am right now. Overall volumes declining. Um, sellers came up, then now buyers took over, but then that volume dropped with the buyers. So now the buyers are strong again. Um, I, it looks to me like this swale hasn't happened yet, but if it's just dropping off today, something's going on. Things are not good news. This is a big drop off. Um, so this is going to pull it up. Maybe there it goes. Price action coming in here. You can see it. Now this is set for intraday, guys. There's a lot of videos that show how to set this. I don't want to see this point of control pop down. Because if this comes down, that means it's more likely to go down than up, and I'm in an upward. But I'll just reverse is what I'll do. So hmm. 
and it did pop down. So that's not good. So can it make 690? It did. I'm not feeling good. I'm going to reverse. Did I reverse? No, reverse again. Wow. I hit this twice. I thought I hit cancel all for a second and I got confused, but, um, you know, I trade on light speed. I use my hotkeys and I, I kind of wish I was using hotkeys with this stock is a little crazy because um, you can slip, you can slip or I'm, I'm talking to you and I'm sliding off the button that I think I'm on or, um, Yeah, I pay per trade over there too, so it wouldn't matter how many shares. But this isn't going to be, there's not much. People think that there's big trading fees on Thinkorswim, but there's hardly any. It's just pennies that you pay for. Well, but at the end of today here, I bet it won't even be 50 bucks. Um, now, you do have to pay taxes on capital gains. <laughs> so. Um, So we're banking off this uh, point of control. Curious to see. I, I, I thought it was going to stop on this four hour and not go up here. So and that's what happened. So that's good uh, for my short position anyway. Wow, I could make 30K here. I mean, like, no problem. This is going to be insane. You know, I know so many people were killing it last week. You know, fifty, seventy thousand dollar days. It's just it's on, on Nvidia. I mean, Nvidia is just out of control. So people are making their years, you know, salary on this, on these, and and then some on this one stock. So this isn't that weird to, with a thousand shares, and that's how you have no trouble getting it filled either. I mean, it's just, it's like Tesla times ten. You know, it's it's very wild right now. And now it's going down. I don't know if there's going to be a big correction in the market or something. This is a little odd. 8839. Probably should have grabbed it there. I kind of like to see it get down here. I mean, it's in the middle of a channel. I feel like there should be another ceiling or floor around here somewhere, but. I don't really want to mark it right there. That's kind of random. I'm going to take that. Uh, it looked like it was about to go up, so I took that move. I'm going to take it again. Short 690.18. And, but I got I got some money in there when that happened, so that was good. Yeah, I was looking. I'm just trying to capture these small ones. I'm starting to feel like I'm getting in the zone again. I broke 30K. This could go well beyond that, the way it's moving. And I'm not the only one. Everybody's 24, 27, 22, 19, 16. Yeah, people are way up there today. I wish I could call the ball better. I'm just literally a seat of my pants here. This is, I mean, this really here, this this is a, a doji, a reversal doji, but there isn't enough of a trend to reverse yet. I mean, and now you have another one that's telling you that maybe it's going to go back up. I'm kind of looking for these pivot levels to be more my guidelines than these patterns, to be honest with you. I don't know if I'm going to go the whole morning, guys. I'm, oh, see, I dropped below 30. Yeah. Um, Oh, did I have that much open in that trade that that's what put me over 30? Wow. Okay. I didn't realize I had that much open. Wow. Went back down a couple K. Okay. I'm actually going to wait. If I get by 30 again, I'm going to stop. That's how I feel right now. So I've got a short, so I will cover. There's 30. I would have slipped past that, though. I'm going to wait for it to get a little more than that, 30. 29. It's got to get up higher, 31. One more click up. Oh, 
I almost hit that. I thought it was 30. I'll take that. What did I get that? 30. Oh, good. It didn't slip. Dudes, I'm stopping. <laughs> this is a shorter than usual. Um, I'm counting my blessings. I don't want to overtrade this. I feel like I've been pretty lucky. You know, I've been very entertaining, obviously, uh, for everybody, I hope. Uh, remember to subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like this kind of trading. Uh, we teach the RV strategy here, the open strategy here, and the escalator strategy here. I know that the, um, the Million Dollar Margin Club is having a big promotion for their books at million hyphen dollar hyphen margin club where they're going to be offering a membership to get in and edit the books uh, to help edit the and, and you get books that aren't out yet you get access to books that they haven't even printed yet which is pretty cool but the thing that they told me and I don't know if they've launched it yet that was um, really cool is if you if you join the club if you have any kind of um, any kind of suggestion for any of the books you get your name in the book and I thought that was kind of cool that you could live on through all I mean they have best-selling books so to have your name as a contributor in the, they're not paying you anything, as far as I know, but to have your name as a contributor, I thought that was pretty cool. So, and then they're going to be having on their channel review of of all the different books that the professional traders believe in, and they and I mean like detailed videos of the books. So I know they have one out now. I think they're about to put another one out with a day trading volume one out in video. And I know they have the candlestick pattern book out in video. And I think that they're launching that um, thing this week, too, where you can get into the books um, and uh, and get free access to the books ahead of time. Before, the, So the one I'm really interested in and they've been talking to me about is the open strategy. So getting that ahead of time would be exciting uh, if you had access to that. Um, I will be talking about it probably before it's out. Because they're basically talking to not only their huge uh, trading, you know, uh, the, the massive amount of traders in the, in the Million Dollar Margin Club, but other traders um, that have their different strategies that they trade at the open. And I know that the um, Trading Journal logbook that, that they put out that I help um, – you know, there's not much to write. I was going to say help write, but <laughs> but that has the criteria for an open strategy. That's that if it breaks the pre-market high or low. So I would get that book, or at least watch. I have a video on it. You can watch the video about it, and you don't have to buy the book. But um, but anyway, um, it the open strategy book I know is going to have a whole bunch of different ways different people trade the open. Everything from the huge momentum like the second it, it, it the market opens you know how to um, trade that action which is most people feel that's just like rolling the dice right pick the right direction but there is actually a strategy that that works more often than not on on a <clears throat> on the pullback you know the retracement of those first one to two minutes um, so there's a whole bunch of different strategies people that that's all they do I'm really glad I'm not trading this. This looks hard right now to me. Uh, I think I got out really lucky here. Um, this is up and down, up and down, up and down, not a straight trend down uh, or anything like that. So it might be it might be planning to retrace all the way up. I, don't, I have a little extra time, so I'm, I stopped at least nine or ten minutes early because I'm just it's just a good enough in money that you just you should know when to get out when you're doing that good. Just get out. I could just you know I could get emotionally hijacked and just start blowing that you know. Um, and before you know it, I'm 20 or I'm 19 or I'm 15 and I'm going, what was I thinking? So I'm just, cause I'm, there's part of me that wants to jump back in right now. I just, but uh, I'm talking myself out of it. Just so you know, you guys know what it's like. It's just, it's very exciting. You know, it's exciting. Your adrenaline's going, your endorphins are being released. You, you know, you want to get out there and trade some more. So it's a great day, you know, made, made my week really in a day, um, so uh, I still will trade more this week. Don't worry. But anyway, yeah, to, to round up about that open strategy book, I think it's still a ways before it comes out because they're still interviewing and talking to lots of other traders about, you know, like big traders, like traders that, that, that make huge amounts of money. And I, you're not ones you're going to see on YouTube a lot. Not that, not that a lot of them don't make money on YouTube. I'm just saying these are people that don't make YouTube videos. They're just traders. That's what they do. They just trade. Um, so yeah, it's interesting to see what that brings to the table, but also 
if if they're going to do what they say, which is allow you guys to share what you works for you, that might actually make it as one of the strategies or more than one of the strategies in the book. But either way, even if they um, they don't use it, they told me because I asked the very question, like, well, what if you don't? You know, what they they're expecting to get their name in, and you don't, you know, but you don't like what they say. It has nothing to do with you. Still get your name in there if you're if you're contributing and fouling whatever they say. You're going to get your name in the book, and, the, and then it'll be the name will be there forever in, in a book that, you know, maybe probably a bestseller. The last two were a bestseller books. So, um, so yeah. So, anyway, okay, guys, uh, I'm rambling on as usual. Thanks for watching. Be careful out there trading a sim. Uh, don't try to foul the weird crap that I just did today. Um, you know, speak to a licensed financial uh, investor. This was a, a lot of luck that just happened. And um, but I do truly believe in the RV strategy. And a lot of people are doing really well with that. Anyway, I won't start all over again. Okay, guys, stay green.